All right, welcome back, ladies and gentlemen, to the Chupacabra Tutorials channel. I'm your host, Larry, and today I'm going to show you how you can request a copy of all of the information that Discord collects about you so you can get an understanding of what kind of data that they collect, what information they have about you, so that you can kind of be aware of your own personal information and privacy while you use different services on the web. And this is a relatively easy process to start because all you have to do is be logged in to Discord with some type of email or other identifying like place about you that they can send a link to download the information to, and you can just click a button and they will send you your information. So to start this whole process, all you have to do is go to your user settings. It's the little gear in the lower left-hand corner of your Discord window. And then here underneath of privacy and safety, where it shows you all of your like, you know, how to stay safe on all of the different parts of Discord. At the very bottom, if you scroll down, there's this big blue button that says request data. And it says right here at the top, request all of my data. And what this is going to do is it's going to start the process of Discord gathering up all the information they have about you. And then they're gonna email me a link that will then download a copy of all of that information where then I can go through it and see, just out of curiosity, what sort of stuff that they collect and use my information for. So all you have to do to request this data is click this blue button. And then it'll say, hey, it might take up to 30 days to collect your data. We will send you an email to the address you registered with when the package is ready. And then from here, you can be like, ah, I don't really care. I've changed my mind. Or you can be like, yeah, request my data. And then it says, our privacy farmers have begun harvesting your data. This can take up to 30 days, but we'll email you when it's done. And so that's been uh, sent. And now they're going to collect all of the information about me. And it should be ready within a certain amount of time. However, even though this might only take a couple of days, because according to my other admins on my server, this has only taken like one or two days uh, to collect. I have to wait 30 days or at least until the process is done before I can request another newer copy of all of my personal information. This will, you know, work in the background. And what I'm going to plan on doing is make this a two part video tutorial where the first one is this is just how you request the data. And then the second one is going to be where we talk about what information Discord says that they keep and use about you for both internal research purposes, marketing purposes, advertising purposes, and all of that stuff, and then what information in total that they store about every single user. So right now, it looks like the types of information that Discord does use is they pretty much save all the information about what you post, a copy of all your posts and logs, because otherwise you wouldn't be able to see it when you, you know, go back in time in a history on one of your chats with somebody from like, two years ago. Um, so they keep all of that stuff, but there's a difference between all the information that they keep and versus what they use. And a lot of what they use is they track what you do and like what you click on when you click around inside of the program, what features you use, like do you upload a lot of pictures? Do you upload or do you like post a lot of links? Do you do a lot of direct messaging? Do you mostly prefer to hang out in voice chat? Like this is all information that they use in order to determine what new features to add to Discord, what features people don't use that they can remove because they're just annoying and different ways that they might be able to monetize the platform because it costs a lot of money in order to run a service like this that's free for the vast majority of users. So they got to find some way of monetizing it. And usually that means using this information to try to give generic user data to sell to advertisers who then might want to try to sell you a new sports watch, a new pair of shoes or a t-shirt or something. So I'm going to try to take a look at what all that information is. We'll discuss it in the next video after they send me the download link and we go through everything. And until next time, I've been your host, Larry. Don't forget to like and subscribe and uh, I'll catch you next time. Bye everybody and have a good one.